So, I think we're buying fish. Um, so let's go to Starport Services. Now, we will have burnt some of our fuel. Did we burn fuel? Fuel tank 10%. We did not go far enough. Oh, but the reservoir's down. Okay. So I do want to refuel. Three credits. Ooh, expensive. Uh, commodities market. We never went into here in the last uh, in the last place. In fact, it's possible it didn't have a, com a commodities market. Okay, so we can see that. Um, I hope you can see my mouse pointer. This is the galactic average price. So this will give us an idea whether this 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 place is is um, selling or highing low. In, in general, you want to buy places which has got a high supply, not. But, let, but we need to sort of take account as to what this place wants in case we want to trade cargo back again. So they have a high demand for hydrogen fuel and pesticides, which makes sense because they're an agricultural planet. But they also want clothing, consumer, technology, and domestic appliances. And they want drugs. Beer, liquor, tobacco, wine. Those could be illegal, however. Actually, if they were illegal, they wouldn't be here in the... Um, they wouldn't be here in this screen, because this screen is only legal goods. You have, you have to go to the black market if you want to buy or sell stuff that's illegal. Now they don't... Now they don't export animal meats, and they don't really want it either. So animal meat? Fish, fish comes somewhere else, does it? Okay, I was told this was a good place to buy fish. But I could be wrong. Okay. Tell you what, let's check out the... How can I exit from here without... I'll just use the mouse. It's going to be easier to use uh, use the mouse on these menus, I think, than trying to use the joystick controls. Also, it gives my hands a bit, a bit of a rest from, from being on the controls. Let's check the bulletin board. See if there's some interesting missions here. Uh, looking for couriers to Ibutis. Pays... Two and a half thousand, fifty-five minutes. I've got to get this data package over to the newsfeed centre at Mayor Stella Research quickly and discreetly. I can make this worth your while. Deliver the data and get back to Azaban City, and you get plenty of credits. Just don't, ju just don't fail me. Okay, pays two thousand two hundred. That's that's good. I might do that. Um, so that's curious to Ibutis. Crop busters seeking space dusters. Um, cargo, 13 tons. I, I can only carry four, so... It would be good if they could sort of filter this stuff. Um, like, you should be able to have options. Right. Feeding the fuel of war. Battle weapons. Where do they want these to go? Things are getting heated up around a commander. That means all kinds of money-making opportunities for those available willing to get the boys' boots. The things they need. The boys in boots, the things they need. I've got 13,000 credits here. You get me one battle weapon and it's all yours. Okay, the problem there is I think battle weapons themselves cost quite a bit. So, yeah, they cost 7,000. So I wouldn't be able to buy the battle weapons to then sell to him. Uh, Bulletin board. Emergency couriers to Owlin. Only 40 minutes. No. Oops. Oh, has that... Oh no, emergency couriers sort. Okay, now that's a different one. Couriers to Ibutis. Was that one I was looking at before not here anymore? Does this randomise every every time you open it? Or has another player used it up already? It's possible someone else did it before I got here. Because I'm sure there was one for 3,000. Well, there are other players around. I'll have to remember that in future to just grab it if I see, see some uh, something interesting. That's to Owlin. Curious to Albutis. The data package open to the Mayor Stella Research quickly and discreetly. Deliver the data and get back to Azaban City with the money. Hmm.
Okay, this guy is paying 4,000 credits to take three tons of scrap to Dahan. As you know, we need uh, we have some time-sensitive work that is critical importance. Um, what we need to do is take a load of scrap over to Dahan Gateway in Dahan. Whoa, 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 where do you think you're going? I said this was critical importance, and it is. The future health of this whole system relies on us properly processing old um, our old bits of machinery. We're offering you, well, four grand, and the knowledge you did sound good for your fellow man. What could, what, uh, what more could you possibly want? I'm going to accept that because it's it's within my jump range, which I think it is. I've got two hours and twenty six minutes to do it. So Dahan Gateway. Let us accept that. Okay, so now let's look at. Hmm, I wanted to look up Dahan. Let's look up the Han. So we're going to go to navigation, galaxy map. Okay, where are we? We are at Erinin, which is the agricultural place. Where is Dahan? Dahan is there. No description. Hmm, refinery. Oh, um, a refinery economy. Okay. Um. The Han Gate Gateway. Okay. Imports. Bertrandite, indite, and gallite. Prohibited. Sugar, botanical drugs, and narcotics. See, sometimes the stuff that's illegal is a bit weird. That's the Dahan Three Metalworks. Okay. So, this is a federation. It's probably relatively safe. Okay, they want Bertrandite, Indite, and Gallite. Uh, Starport services. I'm just trying to see if there's anything I can buy to bring there. Doesn't look like it. Okay, it was... Anywhere... Anything here with a high supply? Not really. I've got a low supply of leather. Fabrics. Hmm... Nothing I really know that that place is going to want. We don't really carry any of the chemicals. So let's just do our cargo run. Okay. So let's go exit, exit. And I think if we go here, we can go missions. And we can see the information on it. So I've got 2 hours and 23, which is plenty of time. And we're going to Dahan Gateway. Okay. Let's go back. Let's just check what's actually in our cargo. Scrap. Okay, haulage. Exclamation point. Not sure what that's about. Hopefully the scrap isn't illegal scrap. <laughs> that should all be as I left it. Status. I should should practice with my scanners, really, shouldn't I? Okay, let's launch. Let's try and get a bit comfortable. I've sort of been playing this sort of sat upright, uh, meerkat fashion. I need to sort of relax back. So here we go. I'm looking to see which side I should be exiting, and it's the one that's lower. Ready to thrust. My engines are at zero. Ship released. Engines engaged. Go up. Whoa, I think I just crashed into someone. <laughs> Sorry about that, dude. Uh, note to self, check radar in an upwards direction before you take off. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to balance my systems once I'm outside. 
some space hog might come uh, might come along and get uh, get in the way. Okay, systems balanced. Whoa, whoa, you're big. <laughs> I think that was an asp. So I just need to get a bit of distance on this space station because it looks like my navigation target's on the far side. Okay, now that's probably just the police making sure I don't have anything illegal on me. If we look at the comms, there, top left, uh, it says you're clean, proceed pilot. So basically, they believe that, you know, that I'm not doing anything illegal. So there is Dahan. I need to escape the mass, uh, the mass lock of the system of that space station. So let's... Oops. Wrong button. That's the one I want. We'll thrust our engines a bit, get a bit of a boost of speed. That's that's like an afterburner. I can only do that once my engine energy bar is, has filled up. So I'm waiting for mass lock. Okay, I'll go a lot faster if I remember to raise my landing gear. <laughs> there we go. There we go, we get up to a speed of 300 now. No longer mass locked. Cloud not scanned? What What are you talking about? I don't want to go there, I want to go to here. I want to go to Dahan. There Drive we go. Charging. Now obviously, we, we're, we're now in, da in danger of, pi of, of pirates, because we're going to be out at a nav beacon at our, des um, at our destination. Four, three, two, one, oh, I love that. <laughs> As I said, the sound design is gorgeous. Whoa, okay. And we arrive, and we come out. Now, Go down to a reasonable speed, but I want to stay in super uh, stay in super cruise for now. Uh, navigation, Dahan system. Come on. I think it was Dahan Gateway lock destination. We're just going to quickly check that Dahan Gateway. Yes, there it is. Now, when you're in Super Cruise, you can be intercepted by NPC pirates right now. Pretty soon, you'll be able to be intercepted by players. When you're in Super Cruise, your ship lights up people's radars like a Christmas tree. So you're very easy to spot. Hang on. I'm going way too fast. So let's slow down. 80 light seconds away. Okay, let's... Oh, wow, that's like an entire... Is that a gas giant? I think that's a gas giant with like load, loads of moons and stuff orbiting it. So basically, when, when you're in Super Cruise, your ship sort of shows you... Shows you all the orbits and so on. That is a strange orbit from that guy. Wanderer. I wonder what that is tempted to go and check it out, but I think I should um, complete my mission first. Now, the advantage of taking these career missions is if I get blown up, I can get my starting ship for free and I won't have lost anything. It's probably a more efficient way of coming in on this thing, but I'm afraid of overshoot... that I'll overshoot shoot it. Tarn Gateway. Got that centered on my nav ball. I'm not sure when to slow down. Something I'm I'm gonna have to um learn. Now 
the time to target is remaining at 8 because I'm slowing down. But I need to get that speed into the blue at the same, same, same time as the distance does. Okay, I think I'm there. So if we can just keep this positioned. Safe disengage. This pause is it loading the area where all the other players are and stuff. Whoa. But you can sort of think of it as just as just like hyperspace lag. It's a time dilation effect. Okay, the docking port is on the far side of this thing. So let us aim our spaceship past it. Throttle up. Turn off um thrust in this in this direction. So with flight assist off, I should just safely spin by. I think. <laughs> okay, that's looking like it's getting a bit close. Do I risk it? Do I risk it? Am I safe? Am I safe? Am I safe? No, impact, impact, impact. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> Okay, um, I've sort of lost track of where it is now, so let's hit the brakes. <laughs> and let's try and get our um, bearings again. <laughs> oh, look at that. I think that's like a gas giant. Okay, which way are you spinning? That's how you can tell. Dahan Gateway. I think it's over here. So I've left flight assist on this. This time I'm just using head look to see whether or not I've got this right. I think I just went... Went... Uh, no. I, wrong, wrong side. Wrong side. No docking there. Okay. That's just... I'm just... The deep, the uh, the detail on this thing. Let's um, fly to the other side, sort of we'll stick relatively close to it. If I aim to the bottom of one of the jutty out bits, then we shouldn't hit it. Well, not sure what happened there. Oh, bit of lag. I think I'm buzzing around the outside, and I'm hoping that if I stop here and pull up, nope, still not. I think I want to go a little bit further this way. Try that. Wow, I cannot find this thing. I am being a real noob here. It's definitely rotating around that. I just keep going backwards and forwards. I'm could maybe this thing isn't shaped how I think it is? straight line this way. Can we...
That's a docking port. Finally found the thing. Oh, wouldn't it be, be, uh, be ironic if I failed my courier mission because I couldn't find the front door? Okay. Let's get into position. Gateway. Hmm. Hmm. See, I would like to request docking, but it's not letting me. What is... what's gone wrong? Maybe I'm too far away? Thing says to Han Gateway. So, why can't I request docking? To Han Gateway. It says it's 2.2 kilometers away. But that is not 2.2. Whoops. Someone was doing something illegal. I am a little confused as to why it's not letting me lock onto the Han Gateway. Okay, let's try moving away from it and then back towards it for a bit. Um, let me lock that as my destination. Because then I can go away from it on the radar, that's when it's hollow. Gateway, no fire zone left. Not quite sure. Take scraps to Han Gateway. Two hours left. So I'm just going to try and get back within range. Oh, come on, let me dock! Doing something wrong, and I'm not sure what it is. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Han Gateway, Coriolis Station. Hoping it was just a glitch. The game is still in beta. So we'll come in close. Hit the brakes here. And try and request docking again. Nope. Dagnamit. No, I did not mean to thrust towards the spaceship. Reverse, 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 please reverse. There we go. Let's max out my shields. Well... Thank God for forums, and I think I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, let's get in close, and then I'll demonstrate what I think I was doing wrong. It's entirely possible some of you were shouting at your screen. 
but hey, you know, I've only I've only ever docked once, and that was in the tutorial. <laughs> I've never had to. Oh no, I I I did dock, didn't I? I docked at um, Azaban City, so I do know how to do this. I am just an idiot. Right, let's get ourselves lined up, and then we go here. And rather than being on navigation, we go to contacts, <laughs> request docking. Docking request sent. So we're just... There we go. Granted. Proceed to landing pad 44. And I've got 10 minutes to get there, which should be easy enough. Let's slow that down. We've maxed to shields. Whoops. I'm approaching on the wrong side. Someone else is coming in as well, though. There he goes. He's a little bit more of a confident flyer than me. That is actually a human being. Landing pad 44, he's going to the closer one, I'm going to the one back there. So I'll just skim over the top of him. Forwards a bit. Oops. There we go. Now, one of the things. Hang on. Let me. Let me just get down. Docking that was successful. a nice docking. Engines disengaged. Now, apparently, when you're in space, the sound you hear of other spaceships, or things exploding, or laser shooting, that's your ship simulating sound um, in order to give you, like, a pilot feedback on what's going on. But this thing is full of air, because you pass through a shield to come in. Which is why the moment you enter this place, you get this wonderful echoey sound effect and stuff like that. Right, so, um... So presumably, I need to somehow fulfill this. Um, time sensitive. Okay, so... <laughs> Avoid unnecessary destruction. Go to Starport Services. Um, how do I fulfill a mission? Bulletin board. There we go. Error in exchange. Give cargo. Excellent. Do you have authorization to be inside the docking bay? Remember, ordering is a violation. Please remain in the docking Yeah, violation which they just blow you up for. Okay, so I've now got 4,942 credits. That's cool. Alright, um... Oh, let's see what they've got for outfitting here. Bit of a delay there. It could mean that it was trying to contact the servers and stuff like that. This is... Um, it's a slightly different animation than we had before. We sort of spun in, spun in a different direction and stuff. Right. So what I'm interested in is, can we update stuff? Okay, so you sort of click buy and equip. Okay, I'm just trying to work out how this works. Okay. So, <clears throat> multi-cannon overcharge costs 14,000 credits, and the missile rack is 32,000. Okay, I'm not going to be buying weaponry from here then, am I? Uh, utility mounts, what have we got? Heatsink launchers. So, um, I said, if you want to go go stealthy, you can close the heat sinks on your... Um, yeah, you can close the heat sink ports on your ship. Now, that means you don't emit any heat into the void, so you don't show up on people's sensors, but it means your ship rapidly heats up. Now, a heat sink launcher takes all the heat currently in your ship, dumps it into a lump of metal, and spits it out the back of your ship. Now, that means you could keep cloaking on for longer, 
it also means if there's a heat-seeking missile after you, there's a chance it will go after the heatsink. Okay, uh, cargo scanners, that's for if you want to be a pirate. Kill warrant scanner means you can get more money when you blow up pirates. Okay. I assume it's going to be the same list of stuff because it's just the, just the utilities. So this is different armor you can have. Reinforced alloys, military grade composites, mirrored surfaces. Mir mirrored surfaces very good against lasers, less good against kinetic weapons. Machine guns and so on. Not available for chosen slot on this station. Okay. It's possible they've not added all of these to the game yet. Or it's possible that, that, that this station just does not have stuff for that. You'd think they change it at some point so the buy and equip button is not available if there's nothing there. Hmm, so I could sell my cargo rack. <laughs> Which is interesting. So you could lighten your ship by, by getting rid of your ability to have cargo. Okay. Now, one thing that would be good on this screen is if you had access to the information about Dahan. You know, it's... Um, it's imports and exports and what's illegal and so on from this screen without having to go out to the galactic map screen. Just a thought. I, unless the commodities market gives you this information. No, it does not. Okay, they've got demand for a lot of stuff. They have a low supply of polymers. Hmm, not a good station for trading. Let's refuel for 30 credits. I like being a courier. Um, the advantage is, is that if I get blown up, I'm not going to lose any money. So that might be a way to go for now. You can go look at the bulletin board. Well, I'm actually thinking of stopping for the moment because I've been recording... Wow, I... what time did I start? I started at 3. Okay, I've been recording now, now for about an hour and 20 minutes, which for me, with my current levels of energy, is quite a bit. So there's no point getting any of these... Um, any of these missions because because they all have time limits on them. Crop dusters, mineral oil, cargo. See, they want 12. I, I can only carry four. You can buy different ships. Um, I'm not sure where uh, where's the best where's the best place to go to find these things. Trustworthy haul is needed. Four thousand. And certainly, if this says here the jump distance is in red, it means I can't can't go there in a single jump. But there's usually time to stop, refuel, and leave again. Although 43 minutes would be pushing it with with my current piloting skills. So anyway, um, that's the game. You just get to explore the entire universe. Upgrade your ship. You can be a pirate, be a bounty hunter, be a trader, be an explorer, because you can make money by finding valuable planets and resources and then selling the map stuff back. Um, you can form wings, so you can be flying flying around with other players and stuff like that. I'm going to stop for now. I'm definitely playing more. Hopefully you'll enjoy this and enjoy playing it with me. I think this thing has a lot of a lot of potential, especially because the game isn't even finished yet. So I'll say bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.